Hi fellas, now back here again with a quick inbox review of my next build. Okay, um, I wanted to do one of these aircraft for for a while, but there's never been a a good kit out there. All right, uh, the kit that is out there is dated now. Okay, uh, I think 2004. I know it's not massively old. But it was a limited run kit at the time. It was the classic airframes, the bolt and pole defiant. Okay, so when Airfix announced that they were going to be fetching one out in 172, I prayed and hoped that they fetch one out in 148, which they duly did. Okay, so in front of me now, uh, we have got the bolt and pole defiant Mark One. Okay, and. All I've done so far with this kit is open it, have a quick glance through the instructions and cut the end off the bags. All right, so normal sturdy airfix box. Uh, on the side, we've got a bit of spiel about the Mark, uh, the, uh, the Defiant Mark 1. Uh, and then there's two marking options. We've got a... Uh, one for number six, two, uh, six, two, six, four squadron, uh, Martlesham Heath, Suffolk, England, July 1940. And the other one is for number 11, Army Corporation Squadron, Royal Air Force, Hatfield Woodhouse, South Yorkshire. Now, Hatfield Woodhouse is in Sheffield. Well, Sheffield is, which is just down the road from me. So, that's the course, that's the scheme I'm going for. That one there. Okay. Alright. Uh, I picked this kit up off of Evil Bay for about £18.50. Uh, that was delivered. So yeah, a good good price for what I'm hoping looks a decent kit. So we'll start off with the instructions, alright? And uh, this is the first time I've seen uh Airfix new new instructions. Uh, the last airfix kit I built was the Mark 12 Spitfire. A great kit in itself, but it's slightly older than these instructions are. Okay, so again, it's got a bit of spiel on the front about the uh, uh, the model itself. Oh, sorry, not the model. It's uh, well about the Defiant. Okay. Uh, also, the Defiant was designed as a day fighter. Now. It didn't really accelerate as a day fire because it had a great big turret on the back and it had no forward firing guns. Now, that being said, this aircraft could reach a speed of uh, 304 mile an hour, which, yes, it's not, you know, massively fast, but in those days, you know, when it was just coming in production and what have you, it, it was. Uh, but the actual the Mark II, the night fighter version, was actually one that had the greater success out of uh, these things so they, they got decimated uh, one day during the Battle of Britain and immediately after that they got switched to night fighters uh, so there was very very few day fighters in these colour schemes flying at the time uh, they were all transferring over to night fighters and then obviously they went to get up against the uh, the bombers during the Blitz and whatever at night time which they got a, a fair fair bit of success not you know massive amounts of success but they got a fair bit of success all right which i'll do it once when i'm building this i'm going to do a bit more research about it and have a look at it so 148 bottle port defiant mark one obviously uh first thing it's got your you know don't choke on these bits and pieces and we start obviously we start off with the cockpit now i know it's going to white out a little bit these new Airfix uh, instructions are actually quite good because they're all CAD drawings and if you notice you build a bit like so it turns red and it shows you exactly where it then needs to go when the rest of the build so the, the cockpit looks quite detailed got some nice sidewall again moving on to the fuselage and putting the fuselage off together the wings some nice detail in the uh, what looks like in the wheel wells, sashing the wings and the tail sections. 
there's uh, plenty of options. Uh, yeah, you can, you can, you can have the. Oh, cool! You can have the the ailerons posed down or level. You can have the tail posed, the the flaps on the tail posed up or down, uh, and you can also have the tail uh, turning. Now, if you're gonna do it with the tail turning, remember to make sure the tail wheels turn as well, because obviously, as the tail twists, the wheel would twist because. You know, to make it go around a corner. That's the whole idea with twisting the tail. Uh, moving on to the undercarriage. Uh, weighted wheels by looks of it. Again, we'll have a look at all this when we go into it. Alright, so it, it's quite an involved build all the way up to the turret. Okay, so then we move on to the turret. And you can have the option of having uh, bits and pieces up and open. Uh, and what have you. Okay. So quite a lot of detail within this build. And then we've got the two colour schemes, obviously Humbrol paints, uh, which for for this build I'm gonna have a look at getting the Vallejo uh Battle of Britain colours, because uh, I'm not in the in the sixth set and the newer colours. And do the and I'm gonna be doing version B. Okay, so the box standard sky over brown and green. All right, and that is your destruction destructions and the common stencil data. All right, so that's the instructions out of the way. We'll move on to the uh, decals. Not many decals. Okay, really, really nicely done, as always. Yeah, they look they look really really nice. Not too thick either. Don't know whether that'll work for the uh, the controls. You can actually read all the writing, which is always good. Yeah, some nice nice decals there. Right, so onto the kit itself. As always with Airfix, it comes in a single bag so I put it open earlier just before this review in fact so I've had a good quick glance so I've not had a proper look and we'll get it all out so that's the main bag so we've got another bag for the clear parts which we'll look at in a minute and then we've got one two three four grey sprues looking at the uh, the actual kit itself there's some nice Nice detail going round. Uh, don't know whether the on the wheels. Don't know if you'll be able to pick it out, but you can just see a lip. Right, they're one piece wheels, but there's a nice big lip all the way round, which will have to be taken care of. They've got some nice detail uh, for the. I think that's in the uh, the it's the magazine housing for the for the uh, weapons. The turret ring, some detail on the inside, with a few uh, injection pin marks. Whether they'll be getting in the way, I don't know until I come to build it. Again, some nice detail on the cockpit floor. What this is missing, truth be told, which I think I might have to look at putting on, is rivet detail. Now, you've got that whole section there okay the i mean the panel lines are really really nicely done but that whole section there is devoid of any sort of uh feature okay so that's just gonna be a big slab of metal which in truth be told it won't be and same on the the tail okay and the tail yep they are the tail okay some big slabs of sheet metal which obviously won't be like that it'd be they'll have plenty of rivet detail in there but overall very very nice next one we'll move on to the the wings okay the wing sections again uh, some nice nice texture on the the tail okay with some nice ribbing 
on all the control surfaces. A nice bit of detail in the uh, undercarriage. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some photos and uh, so you can see them uh, after, for the, you know, take some close-up shots. All right. Uh, set some, got some parts for some strengthening, which that we know we have nothing in there or what have you, which uh, makes sense. Next part, we have got some the cockpit parts. All right. Again, some nice detail. Unfortunately, the the guns they don't have. Uh, they're going to be solid, so I'm going to have to have a look at maybe potentially drilling those out. Got some nice controls. One there, one there. Seats nice. Not to say nice. It's okay. It's it's not you know absolutely fantastic but it's it's nice detail and then we move on to the last brew which has got some nice sidewall detail so that'll make it look out that'll make the cockpit pop once it's all built the the instrument panel is raised, so yeah, yeah. Uh, I think you could probably get away with painting that nicely and some nice dry brushing, or if you've got a steady enough hand, you'd be able to uh, paint that quite nicely. But again, some nice detail. Obviously, it's airfix. It, they've definitely come up in, in the game. Uh, Make no beans about that. But it's still fairly, the details are still fairly, well, I'd say safe. Yeah. I mean, this kit, yeah, it's brand new. I think it's about £25. And yeah, there's a lot to build on it, but the details are a bit safe and a bit soft. Uh, I, I'd want some to look at putting some uh, rivet detail, which. If I feel brave enough, I will do. Right, on to the clear parts. And yes, they're clear. I think I potentially going to have to dip these. Right, so we've got half a part. Well, I'm not half, probably three quarters, which these two bits then glue onto. I'm not too keen on that idea. You've got the full one here. The the ribs probably are oversized, if I'm honest. They are mahoosive on this, which makes it easier for us to mask. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, they're mahoosive. The, they're workable. They're workable. I'm probably going to do it open anyway. Uh, and then they the they must must be able to have the turret open. That's why that's the only thing I can think of with, with that one there. Which we'll have a look I'll have a look at the instructions when I come. But again, safe, nice, nothing to write home about. Alright. It'll look nice once it's all painted up and what have you. So overall, what do I think to the kit? It's a nice kit. Uh I wouldn't want to pay more than what I pay for it. Not when I can pick up a, an Edward Spitfire for the same money. Uh, well, Spitfire ME109 for the same sort of money. But there's not many manufacturers out there doing this kit. I know Trumpeter have just fetched a one out, or are about to fetch one out, which will be interesting to compare. Uh, Trumpeter tends to up more detail, but. I don't know how much that will cost, whether it be the same sort of money as this or, or more. You know what I mean? So it's something to have a look at. But other than that, it's a nice kit. I don't think it'll build up to make it look like a nice defiant. It's just whether I take the time to actually rivet it. 
we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, guys, check the fossils out so you can have a better look, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.